great morning. Well, countdown is on until I'm on the road. Coming soon. I was waiting for one thing. I was waiting for a flute. Um, but not to be. Bobby played it again and he said it breaks notes too quickly. So he's going to make me another one. So I'm going to have to wait again. I keep wanting that B, <laughs> the one key I don't have. <laughs> Which, of course, a lot of the music I want to do is in that key. And uh, so, anyway, on the wait list again. So, let's see what we have. This morning, what is the universe going to give us today? They just had a new property up online, which was really interesting. It's uh, in Bolivar. In Bolivar. And it's, a, it's got nine fireplaces in it. It's a property I would love to go tour, if nothing else. It was uh, constructed in the 1800s, and it was um, the meeting place for the generals during the Civil War. Very interesting place. Now, I like the bathroom they have there. Of course, they had no heating back there except for fireplaces. So there are like fireplaces in almost every room. Um, <laughs> um, they never converted it. And it's so interesting, the bathroom in the one of the room, it, the bathroom, it's got a recessed area where the claw foot tub is at. It's, <laughs> it's very cool the way they had that. But uh, I wonder if there are any little ghosties running around in that property. I bet there are since it was the headquarters for all the generals of the Civil War. Um, so yeah. Okay, well, this is, let's go ahead and get to this one today. Let me see if we, it's interesting. thing. I gotta read this one first on the honeybee is the animal we got this morning. Yesterday I decided I wanted to get rid of the dark hair as you can see and I thought oh I'll go to the beauty parlor and have it done and I call there and they said, well, what's on it? And I told them, and they, well, you need to come in for a consultation. That's the uh, beauty uh, nightmare, you know. <laughs> the kind of color you have on your hair is the beautician's nightmare. So you need to come in for a consultation. I said, look, I'm going to be on the road in just a few days. I don't have time to come in for a consultation. And then they decide what they're going to do or not do. So I did it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I wish I would have gone in there. I would have waltzed in this morning and they would have been, oh, okay, how'd you do it? <laughs> I did study beauty school when I was in high school. I worked my way through beauty school. <laughs> I went to high school half day. I went to the beauty school. I stayed after school and cleaned the school every day to earn my way through. So yes, I know how to do hair. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we have today. We're starting off with the honeybee this morning. Isn't that funny? <laughs> he wears his bees well, doesn't he? Honeybee. So let's see what it has to say. We must give and take, and if we make a mistake, we must make amends. The earth revolves around reciprocity to remain in balance and to grow, and as humans are a part of the earth, so this applies to them as well. Learn to work happily with others. It's important to learn to communicate effectively as there may be a breakdown in communication. <clears throat> so, uh, we have to work with others, okay. <clears throat> so be willing to work with others and have an acceptance of where you are within whatever it is you are doing, okay? It kind of gives me the feeling of, uh, you know, take pride in what you do. You have to work with others and take pride in what you do. It's like if you are a butler, we don't have too many butlers anymore, <clears throat> but there used to be butlers, okay? And they took pride in their job, their job of service, you know? And uh, so if you've ever watched Downton Abbey, great, great uh, series. I wanna watch it again, Downton Abbey. And the uh, people that work there, that were the servants, took pride in what their job was, okay? So reciprocity, you have to work, you have to give, and take pride in whatever you are doing. If you're a street sweeper, be the best street sweeper you can be, okay? It doesn't matter what your job is. Work well with others, Okay, work well with others, accept where you're at, you know, for the time you're there. Doesn't mean you can't improve your life and move forward, but have acceptance of wherever you're at at the moment, okay, rather than grousing about it in every second, okay. It will make your life much easier. And don't sabotage sabotage yourself or sabotage others, okay? We are so often people sabotage themselves. You know, they keep doing things and sometimes I'll ask, well, how is that working for you, okay? So don't sabotage yourself. You need to focus, focus to go forward. Again, be the best you can be wherever you're at at the moment. And if you have your eyes on moving and doing something else, do it, but don't sabotage yourself. I see so many people sabotage themselves in so many ways. And you go, why are you doing that to yourself? Why are you sabotaging? Okay. So again, make your circumstances the best they can be where you're at. Be willing to work with others. We all have to have give and take. We all have to work together, okay? Have acceptance of where you're at, okay? 
unless you're in, a lot, I mean, like really, really bad circumstances, then sometimes you need to change that, of course, immediately change it. If you are in an abusive place, something like that, okay, then change it, okay. Um, but if you are, you know, we all have our place where we're at and you accept the duties and things that surround it. Now, there are people that have moved their station. One, uh, what's her name, that just married into the royalty in England? Well, she's got a whole new set of things she has to accept. Being married into the royals, the family, there are do's and don'ts. You have a whole list of things that you uh, are not supposed to do, okay? <laughs> Restrictions, <laughs> because they have to keep an image, okay? If you marry into that, then you know you need to accept those things or you pay the consequences. <clears throat> if you step out of bounds with that, you pay the consequences. Are you ready to pay the consequences? Okay, so it's just a matter of looking where you're at, seeing what's expected of you, okay? Being willing to work with others, understand that we all have to get along, work together, focus, and don't sabotage yourself, okay? If you're uh, working to um, shake up things, okay, then you're willing to accept the consequences of it. Okay, so that's that's the, uh, I hope somebody has gotten something from it today. You know, we have to work with other. There is reciprocity. If somebody gives, you give back, you know, this give and take. That's the way the universe works. It has to be give and take. You know, it used to be Native Americans, if they would take something from Mother Earth, they would give back tobacco or they would give back something. There would always be an exchange that happened, a trade, a good trade. <laughs> okay. They would have a good trade. They would always give something back. It wasn't just taking and then, you know, no reciprocity. There was always reciprocity there. Whether they were working with a person doing a trade or whether they were taking crops or whatever from Mother Earth, they would give back. Okay. If they had to kill an animal, they would honor the animal. Okay. So always this give and take that, that's in place. So people should come to the point of remembering this a little more and have continued uh, give and take exchange in place honor where you're getting fed again exchange in place okay so the well doesn't run dry <laughs> just saying so anyway thanks for tuning in and I hope everyone is having a great Tuesday. Okay. I've got to look online and see what the weather is doing. I guess that cold snap. Of course, we're so out of touch down here in Florida. It's just still hot. It is hot here every day. I, I tell you, I am looking forward to a bit of cooler weather because it's just hot, hot, hot here. Every day it's hot here. I was thinking with this big push of the weather coming across the U.S. that we get some cold down here, but no, it hasn't happened. <laughs> it's still hot. So anyway, I'm looking forward to getting on the road, going to look at, there's some properties that I want to look at. I'm looking at more of the western Tennessee. It seems the towns that i looked at um, where they have the properties that I really like are more in uh, western Tennessee. So I'm going to go look. One of the towns that's got a lot of great older properties and stuff is Bolivar. So I want to check out the little town there, you know.
and see what I find. Anyway, everyone, thanks for tuning in. If there's a topic you'd like to see read on, please let me know, and we'll see. Today is the very important uh, SCOTUS is to hear the oral arguments in the DACA case. So let's all pray that this goes forward well and they don't hijack DACA, you know, that they don't have those crazies there that are going to uphold Trump's ridiculous policies. So let's see what happens with that today. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you online. Aho, have a great morning.